Hello, everybody, and welcome to Comic Gamer Movie Show. And, and today we're going to bring you our. Sheesh. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to bring you our top five scary movie villains. Um, we Well, I have to preface by saying this. We were in the garage a couple times, but the first time my dad called me to, to give me a hard time for no absolute reason, and then the Mark's battery in his laptop was running low, so now we're up in his room doing this. He's playing Assassin's Creed in the background right over here. <laughs> hey, I've got nothing to add to this. Yeah, he's got nothing to add to he's this. He's not a horror movie fan. Which is stupid. You need to be. But, horror movies the I'm best. I'm sorry, is there a law that says that? I don't think so. Yep, there is a law, Mark. Oh, no, Mark, it's okay not to be. I just know one thing. I will force you to watch these movies eventually. And I will kick you in the balls to your pride. I never said How are you going to do that when you're chained up? Yep, we're going to tie Mark up and force him to watch it. Painfully. Hello, 911. <laughs> they're never, never going to find you. I already told Mark. Because I'm, I'm we're going to be in a secret location. I'm mailing a Chucky doll to his room. Anyway, guys, so let's start off with uh, with Sean's number one, which was Freddy Krueger. I think Freddy Krueger is the most um, iconic to me. Um villain um horror movie villain because stop looking at that mark come on man it's really distracting <laughs> it's not distracting <laughs> I, that is I am kind of, it's like right there but it's hard to kind of uh, okay okay <laughs> that's good that's good okay so anyway freddy krueger yeah what he's <laughs> sorry mark horror movie you didn't, hey you didn't want to be in this you don't get to say anything anyway so yeah freddy krueger he's both a douchebag and he's both funny he's hilarious but you can't get away from him because yeah. he can get you in your dreams. Eventually, you have to sleep. No one can avoid Freddy Krueger, and he kills you in the worst ways that you can imagine. He doesn't kill you like in the ways he only comes from. Well, um, you, um, does he come after any old person or just like kids? Like, kids, because he was a kid killer before, when he was alive. Before the parents got pissed and burnt his ass to death, and, and then, then he, he came, came back. back. <laughs> I know they thought they were making it. They made him worse. <laughs> now he can't die at all. Yeah. Technically, he's he's technically like because they made a um, one stupid Freddy movie. Technically, if it turns out he gets his power from like the Boogeyman or something. The Boogeyman. Like the Boogeyman is, he, is, is a Freddy creature of the night. The Boogeyman? Yeah, they turn him into the new Boogeyman. That's weird. So so that, he's now a physical being. Yeah, he's a physical and like he can be a physical being, but he he all his power is in the in, in, in people's dreams. But Freddy is hilarious. Yeah, he's unique and he has one of the best. Horror theme music that I said that Creep marked out. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. <laughs> Five, six. Like that, every time I hear that, the little girls in the background, oh my gosh. I yeah. remember everything about that movie. All right. So my number one is Jigsaw from the Saw series. Um, he is both creative, a douchebag, and a douchebag because. <laughs> He means well because he wants to teach people, you know, like really bad people lessons about, you know, how precious life is. But the way he does it is pretty stupid. The way you're going shit. about it is pretty, uh... Yeah, I mean, like he locked the guy in a room with flammable oil all over the room. He had the only, his only hope of survival was in a safe, which he didn't know the combination to do. His only light source was a kid. That was a good comeback, actually. <laughs> That's going to come around, come back again. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and his the only way to open the safe was that Jigsaw wrote numbers, random combinations all over the wall, and there's flammable liquid. I already said that. Did they ever, like, I don't know about that scene. Did they show, like, what it was? What? Was it in the safe? It was like a key. No, did they show what the combination was? Like, did the combination no, no. have any bearing to what out. he was? No, 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 no. No, he burned himself to death when it happened. So anyway, um... That was Jigsaw, and anyway, well, I mean, like, he does actually have some sense of honor, because, like, he did let this one girl go after she had to cut into a guy to get a key. Her ex-boyfriend or her husband, wasn't it? Or maybe, like, an abusive person. Maybe no, it was, like, someone it was, she hated. I think it was, like, her husband or something. Maybe it was. I don't really remember, but, and then she, so she had to cut into this guy, take the key out of his body, and then use the key to unlock his, uh, her um, jaw snapper, and then... Jaw snapper. That whatever. Man, gonna fold her freaking face up. Here. Yeah, and um, and once she did that and got it off before it snapped, um, I mean, Jigsaw comes in riding a trike and and says, "You now know how life and like you now know how precious life is. You can leave. You're you're free to go." And it's just like, well, I guess he does have some sense of honor. But the problem is that his uh, his, his traps are kind of like convoluted because not everyone's that smart. <laughs> I know. It's like, how the hell am I supposed to know that? I'm not yeah. a super genius like you. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, that's why I call him a douche twice is because he's not just a douche, he's a mega douche because it's just like, he, yeah. Anyway, so anyway, what is your number two? My number two is. What's Jason. your number one, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> My number two is 
Jason Voorhees. Jason Friday Voorhees. Friday the 13th. Jason Gosh, Voorhees man. is a killing machine. He'll kill a you. silent killing he, machine. He, I've seen this man take a guy's head, squeeze it until it popped into nothing. Yeah. He punched the guy's head off. <laughs> yeah, and but you know what, though? His backstory is really sad. It is sad. It you is know, sad. He's actually a sad infant because he was um, a deformed kid. Who he was okay, he was normal. I mean, but, well, not normal, the form. Physically, but, but he wasn't just normal. But bullied the hell out of him and bullied him and bullied him, and then he freaking drowned to death because the camp, um, the lake where he used to hang out, or yeah. or, or some, I mean, that's where he would go. To because all, all the, the like the camp up, like this don't work for the camp. I'm the head people at the remember. camp. They, yeah, were, they were all having sex or something, which is why he killed people who were having sex because that's how he drowned because the people who should have saved him were all having sex. Yeah. So that's why he goes around. So everything about him makes sense. And he drowned. And then his mother. And his mother was actually in the original. A lot of people think it was actually Jason. No, his mother was going around trying to kill people. And she got her head chopped off. But Jason came alive. Yeah. He came back from the dead. For his mother. And he is pissed. I mean, this dude, he can He kills anything. anyone who enters the campground. If you enter that campground, you're, you're not going to. You're gone. I mean, he will get Isn't you. there something where it's just like, I mean, like. And it's like if you this. enter the campground, like you can never leave or something like that. Oh, it's like no, endless... it's nothing. Oh no, no, he just will come for you. And a lot of people don't know that he exists because like they'll like they'll be like, oh, a bunch of people are dead, but they're like, well, no. we don't know who the, where the guy is who did it. Mm-hmm. But and saying so he has this weird superpower, which my uncle actually explained to me is he has the ability to create illusions yeah. to make you think that he's way back there, when indeed he's right actually here. <laughs> right there. <laughs> so, that's pretty creepy. And like, and like, well, like his, his hockey, body can turn into mist. Uh, his hockey mask, even you have to agree with this, Mark. His hockey mask is iconic. Everybody knows it that is, hockey mask. Is. That is one of the most important things on Halloween. And and I love that. Ch- ch- it's awesome. Yeah. That I've I heard, if I if I can shoot you if I'm walking down the road at mid- at night and I heard ch- ch- pop, pop, I'm Putin. I am God. And he's also super fast for being really slow. But I think that I'm I'm like, it's the illusions. Yeah, it's the illusions. That's probably why he he's, can catch up to people. It's because it he makes you think he's somewhere where he's not really, and then yeah. all you gotta do is walk. Pretty you much, think he's over there, but he's not. He's right there. Pretty much. All right. all right. My number two, I have to give it to um, I have to give it to a my bloody Valentine, the serial killer from that. Because I mean, he wasn't like a creature like Jason and and um, mm-hmm. and, and Freddy. He was a living person, but he was like, he was a serial killer that was um. Like I, I really don't know the backstory because in the movie there really wasn't a lot of backstory on him. But he's just, he's just a killer. He kills women. He kills women specifically because, mm-hmm. uh, because like he wasn't he like taking the hearts out. My yeah. bloody Valentine. Yeah. And it was like, and like he, he killed them. Put her in a I think, box. and you know what, guys, I really hope someone would correct me on this because it was, I really, I think, I think this is what happened. This isn't. This is what I'm saying. It is. I think it's like these women. Like they actually knew him physically and rejected him or something, and he and since he did, and since he never got any love from a woman, he, he thinks that no man should. So he just kills right. the women. I think I don't takes really their know. hearts out. He takes their hearts out and he dresses up in that 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 miner's gas mask, the miner helmet, the black overalls, the the pickaxe. <laughs> Gosh, that and then like and then Wait, like the original My Bloody Valentine, or because the you know I think this is the one that came out like two like early two thousands late. What you mean the late nineties? Oh, okay, late nineties. Like, like that, that was the best one. I really don't remember. They made like, a remake that was kind of shitty. Yeah, I mean like this one was like in the early two thousands and early like late nineties. This is I think, and it was uh and it was really funny because like this is what I'm talking about how brutal it is. I mean like this I mean like, th- th- there was a sex scene between this one like hooker and and a trucker. And uh, and like the circuit gets pissed off for some reason, and then he she walks out of the hotel room or the motel, and she's naked. She's still naked while she oh, does no. this. Oh no, no, because he was recording it. Yeah. And he picked, and um, she thought they were gonna get married or something. He yeah. was all like, "Oh no, hey, here's the money. Bye." It says, "Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was." And she got pissed. She came out naked. She had a gun and all that other stuff. And then she's that's like, when. Shoot and then the text for you. <laughs> and then like and, and then she hides her under the bed and then he comes in stomps on the bed um, with those big boots to keep it down she's like right under there under the bed it that scene was pretty fucked up because I mean, like no matter where she went he always got her and then the ending though i'm going to spoil the ending here because this ending was fucked up because I mean, like there was like an explosion or a fire in the mine and you see him like get like pushed to the wall or something and then you see him when like when he takes off the mask that's him that's the guy it's like shit there it's right there, <laughs> and then it's like, damn it, and then and then he gets away, and then that's probably why they made a remake is because to explain that maybe mm-hmm. I don't know. Anyway, my bloody Valentine serial killer from that I can't remember his name, but anyway, my number three has to be Michael Myers from the from the Halloween franchise. Sheesh. He is 
quite frankly, and think about this, as a kid, at the age of seven, he murdered his father, his sister, and her boyfriend. I would have killed the boyfriend, too, because in the movie, he's he's boy, kind of he was up there banging his sister, and him doing that was why he couldn't go out for Halloween, and that snapped. Like, like there was all couldn't go out for Halloween, Halloween to get candy, so he, had, so he killed he his He was family. bullied in school. Yeah, and um, that's right, he and was. Then he he started, was. And then you know something? They did something good with psychologically, because you, have you ever looked at, like, um, serial killer movies or actual yeah. shows? They start off with killing animals, and that's what he started doing. He was killing wild animals, started, like more animals, like dogs started disappearing in the neighborhoods because he was killing them. And then eventually, and like, and, and, then, and the then he started killing those boys, bullying them. He beat the crap out of that kid, he beat a kid to death with a stick in the middle of the woods. At the same time, I was like, when he was hitting him, I was like, you deserve it, but I don't think he deserves to be beat to death. <laughs> yeah, I know. You were bullying him, but you don't deserve to be beat to death. And then once his sister, Mike, was supposed to take him out trick-or-treating, and she said, no, I'm going to go upstairs and burn my boyfriend instead of taking you out, he snapped. Yeah. And his dad was a dick. He went, he, t- he taped his dad to the chair and sliced his throat. Yeah, went upstairs, that's stabbed cool. his sister to death, stabbed him, beat the boyfriend to death with that. And he was sitting there on the porch, and the cops came and got him, man. He, he, after that, he got even crazier because he became so powerful. Like the old, I don't know what that was. I don't know what happened yeah, to him. Yeah, it was crazy. But he became powerful. Plus, I think Freddy, I think he has, in my opinion, the best horror movie theme music. I, I can remember that. Yeah. yeah, that movie was. That movie was his fuck. And up. he was after his su- little sister, but that man can kill you. And he's so powerful. I guess you know, like pick a dude up and just like nail him to the wall, and that's just a normal guy. Like, there's nothing... Was this when he was growing up? Yeah, when he was growing up, he started doing... like oh, okay. When he had the mask. Yeah, I got And you. he started just... I mean, he became so... I mean, you won't die. Yeah. And he's just a normal guy. Yeah, he is <laughs> he's fucked up. Oh, he is. That is one. Mm. All right. My... That's an iconic mask, yeah, too. My... Yeah, that, that is a Mike right. Myers mask. All right. My... What's number three? Oh, four, three. Three. All right. My number three goes to... God, the Children of the Corn. Woo! I think that's every... I think that's every parent's nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> that's like every that's adult nightmare. Imagine if all the kids in the town just decided, we. Good God! <laughs> Sorry, guys. The door, <laughs> Mark's door just squeaked, <laughs> and it was this. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? It's just the shift in air pressure around the house. Close mm-hmm. the door. That's what they all say. No, you don't have to. I'm kidding. Yeah. It was just like it just squeaked, and I was What's like, "What's the okay. chances of that happening?" Right while we're talking about horror movies, just. Well, I'm sitting here listening to you guys talk about those disturbing things possible, and <laughs> you're scared of the door. Well, children yeah, of the corn, but that is like a nightmare. Imagine if all the kids just decided, we don't need the adults anymore. They just kill them all. And children of the corn. Kill them all. <laughs> that was a fucked up movie. That movie, like, literally, this is scarring. I'm but still trying like, to figure out, who is he who, who's beneath the corn ground? Like, the big creature that's in the fields? I don't know what the hell it is. We didn't, no, no one dies. Is it a giant mole? Like, what is it? <laughs> No one really knows. That's another mystery about it that made me want to go watch he it again. Who lives in the, oh, he, uh, he who lives under the corn. No, who, he who lives with the corn. No. I can't. It's something like that. Malachi, I kid, Malachi was so creepy. That kid was playing Malachi had this weird squeaky voice like this. It was so. He was fucked up. Oh my. That God. movie didn't scar me, but it left a mark on me that now, like every time I watch a horror movie with kids, I just go right back to Children of the Corn. I'm just like everything's damn. compared to any horror movie with a kid in it is compared, compared to, to that. Children of the, of the Corn. corn. It really it's an was. iconic. It's definitely an iconic um, horror movie. Man, Children yeah, of the what? Corn. Shit. Anyway, <laughs> go, let's before the door squeaks again. Go and do your number four. My number four would have to be. Oh man, dang! <laughs> I, I kind of took it with choking the corner. Oh no, 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 no! Oh. My number four is it. It. Oh man, you know what? From though? the movie. It. <laughs> oh my god! I hate clowns. I hate clowns. And too. a clown who eats little kids didn't go out. He hides in the sewer. That's another iconic thing with the sewer hiding. He thing. hides in the sewer, and there's one little kid. I learned one lesson in the very first ten seconds of the movie. If you leave, if a toy that you have goes in a sewer and you go to get it and a clown pops out of the sewer, we done. No, 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 we're good. It was okay. blinking before. It was all right. All right. And a clown comes out of the sewer with your toy and goes, "Hey, you want it back? How about you come a little closer? You run. <laughs> you don't go closer. Yeah, yeah. Just see him grab the. Was he like a creation or was he a demon? He was a demon. He was a demon, I think. He was, yeah, he was a demon. He was cre- I forget. It was some complicatedness behind his yeah, creation. True. But he's a demon and clown and lives in a sewer and, and hunts after little kids. And oh my gosh. Just thinking about that movie just gave me a chill down my spine. Squeak. <laughs> it's, it's the one movie. It's the one movie 
I can never watch again. again. I can't watch. I can't it. watch it. I can't. I can't do it either. I'm not mad. That's why I can't watch children. Me. I've always seen I Children of the Corn twice. I watched it twice. The first time was to um. Well, I meant the first time I saw it. The second time was the reason why I watched it was because I wanted to find out um the guy he who was under the ground or they, something. I don't think they ever show him. No, they don't. They don't. I don't think they do. Yeah, and that's why I watched it the second time is to see what he was, or, or like maybe like there were like subtle references, or maybe pictures in the movie. See I what think it was it's a giant mole, man. I think it is too. <laughs> anyway, so is that, like was that it? Um, um about it? Yeah, you know, I, I don't want to even go into more details about it. He does like all these psychological things, but I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> all right, <laughs> so <laughs> my number four, four, yeah, my number four. Uh, my number Almost four. Almost more than mm -hmm. five, actually. Five, no, it's four. No, it's four. Uh, okay, I used your fours already. No, um, I was my I did my I did my three. My, no, like my three was children of the corn. Yeah, that was my three. Um, uh, my number four. Gosh, I don't know really who to give it to. There's a lot of horror, there's a lot of good horror villains out there, and some that I can't really remember off the top. I had to really think about. Um, who was that guy? That was um not I'm not Chucky, but he was um. He was shit. What was that movie called? Oh god, I can't. I I can see it. I can see it right now. It was like, it was like a guy. It was like Kane did it. Kane did that movie. What? Um, see no evil? evil. Yeah, that movie was fucked up. <laughs> oh, Kane off of See No Evil. Yeah, Kane. Oh, I'm mean, like. They I made a See No Evil too, you know. Yeah, Kane was well. Kane, I'm not the wrestler. Nailed that part because he's obviously that character, and that character was Kane. Fucked. He's Kane, <laughs> Psych psycho killer thing, and that's why he's lower on my list because he's not like because it didn't impact me like Children of the Corn did, but it did impact me to go, man, that wrestler is not not only dark in life, but he is dark in that movie because oh. he just kills all these people and like, he comes out of nowhere and he's wearing that. Did mask. you know that Kane and the Undertaker have played Jason Voorhees seven times together? Damn! I thought that was pretty interesting. Oh, well, yeah, so cool. They just get wrestlers to come do this character. Well, the Undertaker would make sense because I mean, like, you never see his face, I and mean, you never see Jason's face, and then like Undertaker's big, so and he's strong. So Rise was terrifying of all the wrestlers in WWE. Pretty much. Yeah, but Kane and Cena, it was not really more to say because it wasn't like you know like iconic villain as in, like the rest of the movies we talked about. But he was impactful because like he nailed his part really really well, and he did create a sense of Man. dread because he came out of nowhere. Like some, I mean, I, I, and like I think he was just a regular guy, but he he just came out of nowhere. Something he kicked through the wall, he dropped me down an elevator shaft, he did all this crazy Shut things. Shut that cell phone in that one chick's throat. Yeah, like, bringing oh. in her throat. Yeah, it was just bizarre. Anyway, move, guys watch this move on. Shit. Now this two. Now awesome. I was kind of stuck between these two, Terrible. but I decided to go with the more iconic one and leave the other one as an honorable mention, which is Chucky. Chucky. Uh, Chucky is. I'm gonna icon. leave him as my number five He's too. He's the most iconic doll. Ever. I hate dolls. He has, he has to get He's actually ears. darker than that because he was a serial killer before. And then somehow, like, I'm, I'm like he a bunch learned of light voodoo. Beat. Like he, like he learned um voodoo or some shit from some um witch doctor. And just before he got caught, yeah. <laughs> Basically, he was like, I don't believe in shit, but whatever, might as well do it. I mean, I'm gonna die anyway, so he just did it, and his soul went to the doll. Oh my gosh! You can't Chucky, kill Chucky. Chucky is the most creepiest. You can kill him, even though they haven't done it yet. Yeah. <laughs> but he is the most creepiest. Oh my gosh, and he's funny as hell. Yeah, he is. Once I bump, he like crashed Britney Spears off the road. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chucky, he's really he does, he's funny. He is really funny. I will admit. But and his and his character. Uh, well, I had my bed made. Thanks a lot, Seth. And then your blanket was kind of falling off your bed, so. <laughs> so you just took it all the way out. All right. Anyway, yeah, Chucky is Chucky definitely is iconic. And my, you have to say Chucky is pretty like iconic. Well, no, he's the most terrifying doll there is. They're pretty much, he's the doll of all the dolls I compare to. I, I hate horror, so you know I don't like it. He's Chucky killed, is messed he's up. Some people some twisted. I movies. did see like I I remember watching what was it Seed or Spawn of Chucky like I don't know, where he had a kid. Yeah, that's Seed. Seed of Chucky. That movie was just like what the fuck. Now he has a kid. <laughs> now what? <laughs> yeah, his kid goes Coco. <laughs> Coco. Yeah. But it is kind of funny and um. One of the scenes, like, he, like, takes his kid pants off and he has his penis. And he's like, it's gonna grow. <laughs> <laughs> he's a late bloomer, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <"What?" laughs> that was funny. And Chucky had some really funny moments in there. That's why he's my number five, too, because he's so iconic. And but so my, freaking scary. my honorable mention would be the thing from the movie The Thing. Mm. The creature that can take over people's bodies and, like, become an exact clone of them. Yeah. The like, only thing I know is Fantastic Four. <laughs> Oh, that's th oh, I was like yeah. that creature was. I did. I saw the original one. It, it killed people in such a painful way because it literally 
break your body down and absorb it. Like, yeah. you know, in movies and comic books and stuff, you hear absorb and the creature just kind of, you know. Just like you, takes you over and that's it. You don't really see it. This guy, you can see him ripping your tendons and ripping your body apart and making it a part of him and turning into you. And yeah. he, but he does it so fast you wouldn't even notice it. And it, that, that movie is a psychological screw job because you don't know who's who. You just know that the thing is scared of fire. What were you going to do? Burn everybody? <laughs> I know. It's that. I oh, remember. Gosh. All right. My honorable mention, because I mean, well, because I put Chucky as my number five, my honorable mention has to go to um, uh, The Conjuring, Annabelle, the doll. Oh, no. Well, The Conjuring, I, you, know, you know, I said The Conjuring as a whole, because there wasn't, like, one specific villain in that movie. There was just, like, there was, like, multiple. But I have to say that The Conjuring, total, all the spirits, all the ghosts. Everything terrifying. Jeez. <laughs> Especially, remember Annabelle, the doll? Fuck. The That's doll. a real doll. That's, yeah, it's, it's, it's based on a real thing. It's yeah. still locked up right now. Yeah. And it still says in the sign, do not warning, touch. haunted, <laughs> like yeah. possessed. I think, I, think, I think the sign actually says, do not touch. Well, I don't think, well, the sign. What are you talking about, the sign? There's a sign on it. That doll haunted. In the movie or in the real life? In real life, too. Well, why would you touch it? I hate dolls. <laughs> Especially one that's um, possessed. Yeah, that's and you know. No, thank you. Well, that movie was. I don't just, want any toys. That movie was a psychological screw job because of everything that happened. It was just oh. like it was like this wasn't happening. That was happening. This was real. That was real. Turns out there's a whole big mystery. I'm not gonna it. lie. You know how you, you Mark? Do I know how I'm a sick, twisted bastard? So like go back and watch it all these movies. Uh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I, I, I would not watch. I won't watch it again. I, I will watch I Children like, of the Corn I again. I feel like I, know, I need to will my way to watch it. I think I need to overcome my fears. I've, I've I will, I will, I will watch it. I've been listening to you guys. The whole my only thoughts listening to you guys talk about this is you yeah, sick fucks. <laughs> I'm just like, you will never catch me watching these. I will never watch these. It's okay, Mark. We People want you. to we'll, be we'll protect you. I don't want to be we scared. We'll protect you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you have to hit me. Now I'm going to turn to serial killers. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Do I have to do that one? No, I'm kidding. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us on Cal Game Room Show. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. So we can do the one that Mark talked about. Yep. <laughs> I actually enjoyed doing that one.